Welcome to another episode. Today we've got a 2010 Kingdom set called King's Castle. Uh, set number is 7946. It has 933 pieces and 8 minifigures. Uh, originally retailed for $100. However, Kingdoms has been put on hold for now. I don't know if it's actually going to come back or not, but they've got Lord of the Rings coming out soon, so obviously they don't want Castle interfering with it. Um, you can still get it on BrickLink and Amazon, of course. Uh, BrickLink is your better bet because it's still 100 bucks. Amazon's about 180 Here's the box. And back. And the minifigures on top. Uh, three instruction manuals in here. Book one is the largest. Uh, got some winification on the back. And then books two and three are a little bit smaller. And that's what they look like on the back. Alright, let's check out our minifigures. Uh, first of all, we've got two archers for the Lion Knights. And they are identical except for the faces. Uh, they each have a crossbow, quiver on the back, and that just goes over the neck. And no leg prancing. Well, a little bit if you consider that black part. And here's the other guy's head. And then you get two pikemen. really cool helmet and then same deal with these guys you know they're identical but they have different heads and that's what the back looks like here's the other guy alright and then the dragon army uh, they also have an archer this guy looks really angry and he's also got a quiver on the back. And then they've got a spear guard or whatever. Uh, he's also got the helmet, of course, it's in dark gray. It's got an awesome face there. And nice printing on the back. And then, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like the leader of the Dragon Knights, but he is really awesome. Got the nice dragon shield, sword, great helmet. There's his face. Let's take all the stuff off. And then take the head off. And this is the armor piece. And then under the armor, he's got some really great printing. But once you put that on, you don't really see this, which is kind of a shame. And then he's got some really cool leg printing as well. And let's check out the king. Uh, first of all, he's got a great looking horse. Cool armor on the head. And then that piece lifts off. And he's just a standard horse then. And then it's got a clip on each side so you can attach a weapon, shield, whatever. And then if you don't want to have anybody riding the horse, you put this one by 2 brick and plate in there. And there you go. And then let's take a look at the king. A lot of great stuff on him. Uh, obvious first things you notice are the golden sword and the golden crown. Um, small complaint about the crown is it's really loose. It doesn't really stay on too well. And the sword is a little bit longer than the standard sword.
comparison really quick. And you can see the King's got a really nice face. A lot of stuff to him. He's got a cape. And then he also has a piece of armor, which is really, really nice looking. Lion symbol on it. Nothing on the back. And uh, like the leader of the Dragon Knights, he's also got some really great printing underneath. And leg like printing as well. Alright, and here's a look at the castle. Um, first thing is has a working portcullis and there's a switch in the back which I'll show you later that um, holds it up in place also has a drawbridge which works as well and this one also has a switch in the back to hold it up I'll show you the details on the front um, these are stickers right here, which look very nice. Uh, cool little lion thing there. Got the lion army shields going all around this place. Legs on top. A little room for people to stand. Torches. Let's see. And then there is a catapult on each side and two little pieces of ammo there. And they work really well. Nice design. More stickers here. Again, they look really nice. Uh, got a barrel here with a couple of weapons in it. And there's a giant catapult up here. Same thing with the shields over here. There is a door which does open. And then up here, got a little rat. There's also a staircase. And then this is the back of the jail, and there's a secret wall here for the prisoner to escape. You just put that up, falls out. You can see it's on a couple of jumpers. There's the jail door. And that just goes back in place like that. And then over here, I've got a treasure chest. And I don't like where they put it because if you try to go through the door, run into the treasure chest, but you can always move that. Nice looking throne up there. A pair of windows in the back. I love the design on this right here. Looks really great. There's another angle on that. And the side, you know, with the exception of this, is pretty much the same. Another catapult over here. More Lion Army decorations. And then inside there is a weapons rack. Got a nice gold chalice there. And I'll show you the mechanisms for each door. Uh, this is the switch for the drawbridge. You can see I lift that up and causes it to release. And there's a pin right here. Which if you pull that out, it releases the portcullis. And you want it to stay again. Just push it in. And it's locked. There's a nice view from the entrance of the jail. You can also see the stairs.
And one of the great things about this set is the fact that it is modular. Um, as you can see, it all comes apart. All connected by Technic pins, which you can reconfigure in any way you want. You can even design your own pieces, which isn't the greatest, but whatever. Just snap it in like that, and you can keep adding. So this is a really cool set. Um, I don't like the fact that they use the big panels for the walls. I would prefer that they'd actually be normal brick built. But, you know, whatever. There's still a lot of useful stuff in there. Um, King is just awesome. And, you know, it's got a few people for the Dragon Army as well. So, hopefully when... I really hope Kingdoms comes back next year because I would like to get like one or two more of these. Go on and check it out, and I will see you next week.